I'm happy to be celebrating this World Day of Consecrated Life with you, consecrated religious in our diocese, and especially at this Mass as we see in our program to be honoring those sisters who are celebrating special anniversaries of religious profession this year. This annual celebration of the World Day of Consecrated Life was instituted for a threefold purpose. Firstly, firstly, to thank God for the gift of consecrated life in the church. Marvelous blessing that he has bestowed upon the church in every age. And secondly, it was instituted in order to continue to promote appreciation for the vocation of the consecrated life among the people of God, that people would see the value and the blessing and the beauty of this calling from God and continue to appreciate it as part of the local church. And thirdly, this World Day annual commemoration was instituted to affirm consecrated persons themselves in their vocations, religious sisters, religious brothers, religious priests. And so those three themes present from the beginning are guiding our celebration today. We're giving thanks to God for his gift to our church here locally of so many religious families represented within our diocese and holding up the beauty of the consecrated vocation for all to appreciate here locally in our church of Charlotte. And that third reason, to affirm you personally in your vocation of the consecrated holiness. Today's gospel reading has special meaning for the consecrated life. Jesus says, whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Whoever loses his life for my sake, whoever, in other words, hands over one's life to Jesus, or whoever gives away one's life to Jesus, will save it. Or in other words, will preserve oneself for a new life, a new life of freedom in Christ, a new life of joy, a new life of self-offering in service to Jesus and the kingdom of God. Whoever loses his life, hands his life away for the sake of Jesus, as a gift to Jesus, will save it, will find it, and will discover a holy, beautiful new life. And you, my sisters and brothers, are living that gospel passage by your consecration to God, handing over your life to the Lord. So we have St. Paul say in his letter to the Galatians, elsewhere in the scriptures, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And as we hear in today's reading from Isaiah, in my God is the joy of my soul. You have given everything over to him. I consider your personal witness of consecrated holiness to be very important for our diocese and the witness of all the religious families represented in our diocese to be very important, to be essential to the filling out of the call, universal call to holiness within our local church. There are several anchors of holiness in our diocese, and the consecrated life is one of them to keep us grounded in God. And another anchor of holiness is the ordained clergy, our priests and our deacons. And another anchor of holiness to keep us grounded in God is the Christ-centered marriages and family life and laypersons of our diocese. 
but all of these anchors keeping us grounded in our life in Christ and in the gospel are so essential, so integral, so necessary to the complete picture of the life of our diocese. Together, we are all contributing in some way, according to our special vocations, to the flourishing culture of holiness, and therefore the Church of Charlotte is able to shine brightly with the presence of Christ. May God bestow his blessing upon our sisters who are celebrating special anniversaries this year. Sister Maureen Deese, Sister Mary Jerome Spradley, Sister Mary Robert Williams, Sister Maria Goretti Weldon, Sister Barbara Wheely, Sister Mary Schmuck, Sister Mary Rose Bumpus. And may God keep all of us close to Jesus.